let's start with the real basic stuff. Uh, everybody starts with downhaul trim. When you pull the downhaul on any model, any, any sail, doesn't matter if it's wave, free ride, race, Downhaul is a very direct way to, to set the, the sail soft trim. In other words, all the sails have the numbers, all the manufacturers, we all print luff links and you can use that as a guide, pull the sail down to that number and go. But you can go beyond that and tune to suit the conditions. So soft trim would be, for example, a couple centimeters less than the number that's printed on the sail. So easing off a couple centimeters, what does that do? It drives all kinds of profile into the sail and the leech at the same time becomes a bit more closed. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, I mean I've seen like the, the, the low end is very important but I've seen also people that don't worry, they put way too less low in. I've seen a lot and just deform the sail and yeah. they don't enjoy sailing. So it's important to tell them how, like what's what's the maximum of a low end they can they can make because yeah. the sail just doesn't work if not. But personally I like I always do that. I I never I'm like an anti spec thing. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I always read custom wise whatever my feeling is and which is a cool part and I'm sure it happens to you and on many people that we kind of trim ourselves our own custom way depending yeah. on our weight and everything but definitely it's important to to follow the guidelines well, for a start yeah a start point right? it's true the uh, if you, not enough downhaul tension and it, the sail loses its ability to breathe and it's true that uh, 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 I think a lot of uh, windsurfers when they trim they're they're too gentle with the downhaul it is suitable to have soft trim for the low end, but there is a limit. And mm. it, without enough downhaul tension, the leech becomes too firm. It doesn't have the elasticity, doesn't have the ability to breathe, and that's really needed in the low end. So mm. soft trim for light winds, conversely, for the upper end, mm. load the downhaul. That flattens the profile and allows the leech to open and that's a configuration that uh, is uh, appropriate for the upper end it makes the rig easy and quick and there's been a lot of uh, reference to the leech how loose the leech gets and that's a good reference but uh, another reference for downhaul trim that I like a lot myself is the position of the batten relative to the mast, the batten just above the boom. With strong trim, really upper end trim, that batten will pull away from the mast. And um, just putting your finger between the, the batten and the mast and checking it, is that's clearing the mast now or is it touching? No, it's clearing the mast right now. It's yeah. touching about a millimeter only. Uh -huh. yeah, so that's really soft free. trim we've got there now. Yeah. If the batten here is touching the mass when it's rotating, it's definitely low end trim. Mm -hmm. Pull the downhaul, that might be appropriate for light winds, but uh, pull the downhaul harder and harder and harder and the batten will drift back away from the mast and that's appropriate for upper end trim. Mm -hmm.